Morocco, in Caribou, the house of Nouvelle Two. So, we would like to welcome you to our latest project. Um, I know some of you remember we had House of Nouvelle, uh, the first Airbnb when we first came to Rhonda. And um, because of COVID, shut us down, we had to let that house go. But thanks to my brother who had purchased this beautiful house here in Kabaga Bugga, he had partnered with us at a dealer's relocation services to pretty much turn his new investment property over to an Airbnb. So today we would like to show you what we've done so far and welcome you to House in the Bay too. So our common areas here at the House in the Bay 2 is our living space. Now keep in mind we're still going to be adding some subtle touches to it, so some artwork on the walls and we're going to be doing some more painting, but for now this is our Bohemian, Afro-Bohemian style living room. Everything here has been custom made by locals here in Rhonda, including the artwork to our vases to our furnishing. So we, um, nothing has been imported. Everything is from Rhonda. Then our second common area is where you will have your breakfast buffet every morning with a chef that will come out to you included in your homestay and we will have that here in your in our dining room again everything here has been custom made here from our uh, local contractors on our walls here we have the rondan traditional in um, which is their traditional art and beautiful custom made furnishing from one of our favorite um, independent contractors here. And of course, you will have access to the kitchen. Like I said, our um, services do include breakfast every morning, but if you want, have a desire to cook if, later on during the day or for dinner, you do have access to the kitchen. It is typical hands, everything that you will need to uh, make sure that you have good wholesome meals. So we would like to show you our first suite here. This is the ground floor garden view. This room has its own private access from outside if you want to um, come in from outside. And of course, you still have those amazing views that people come to run before. One private entry. Directly outside, you'll have your own personal keys. 
So if you didn't want to come through the common area, you could come in right in, right off from the outside. So each room is self-contained, meaning that it has its own. This is a typical uh, bathroom here in London. So that room in this suite area is good for those that have handicap concerns or maybe want to just be on a ground level, can't handle steps, because we do have some steps to get up to the other levels. But for the mamas or anyone that needs to be on a ground level, this floor is perfect for you. This room is perfect for you. And let's go upstairs. So this is one of my favorite rooms. This is what I call the peace room. Uh, it's the first room that we had finished and it just has a certain energy about it. Well, again, this is our peace room. It just brings you a certain level of peace, it has good energy here. It's in the front of the house actually. And it comes with its own private patio. It doesn't have much views out here, but you have sounds, you have space. And again, it's self-contained, meaning it has its own private bathroom. So here's our Garden View Terrace room. And it's, uh, this is our Garden View Terrace room. Again, you have the million dollar views to wake up to every morning. We purposely didn't put any drapery up here. The windows are tinted, but we know you come for these views, so we want you to have access to see that every morning. bathroom is shared with the housekeeper so um, but for the main and so lastly our fourth and final room Ava's suite is um, the master bedroom and it self-contained as well. This room will be doing more details, more um, adding more things to it as the time goes on. But for now, we're excited to show you what we're doing. Again, we have um, beautiful art from locals here in Rhonda. Beautiful king size bed, handcrafted by again um, local contractors here. Mosquito nets in case you need it, because rainy season is here. And 
of course, the favorite place in the house is this patio. Imagine waking up, having coffee on the patio, and this is what you're gonna be looking at every morning. Now we have the master bathroom, which is one of my favorites. This beautiful vanity set, full shower, the hot water works great throughout the whole house. So this is, again, the house in the way to uh, partnering up with the relocation services that we offer. So if anyone is interested in investing in Africa, investing in Rwanda, and wanted to purchase a home and have it turned into an Airbnb, we can do that for you right here while you're over in the States. If you wanted to um, relocate here, uh, we have other guests that we have, well, not guests anymore, but other customers that we've had pretty much went, found them a house, got everything, all the decorations, all the furnishing, their home team, their beds, the, um, everything that they possibly could need to be able to come off the airplane into a home and not an empty house. We can also do that for you. Or if you just need someone to find you a place to live, an apartment that's already fully furnished, we just finished doing that for a previous customer as well. So if you are interested in coming to Rhonda and you want to come and just check us out, please, our link's going to be in the bio for the four rooms for you to go ahead and book your Airbnb space. We do also partner up with a nice um, travel guide here. So we do excursions, tour packages. We can have everything prepared for you to have a wonderful trip. Um, and you'll be here in this comfortable house at the house in the bay. Thank you again. El Dealers Relocation Services email address will also be in the bio. The four links for the Airbnb will also be in the bio. We look forward to hearing from you soon.